welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are still here because it has been quite a while. I lost my phone and I've been really busy and I'm no longer getting two lessons a week. I'm getting one and my cameraman is always busy. So it has just been super hard, but I know that I had to make this video for you guys because I'm super excited about it and I know you guys are. So, oh, I don't know if you can see that, but that is the horse trailer. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you won't be able to. Oh, I missed it. Darn it. Eclipse was just poking her head out. You probably can't see it, but we are taking her to the barn that I ride at. And here's the catch. She's going on a lease, but not just any kind of lease, a breeding lease. So the people who own the barn um, said I can keep her there board free for however many months over a year because they want to breed her to their palomino pony stud also a welsh so i'm super excited they are going to be so cute and then um they want her there for obviously while the foal is being weaned as well sorry if it's really bumpy i'm like woo! and there's another catch they said they would also breed me a pony so you know maybe two years time if she catches that is going to be super super exciting yeah so right now we are just driving her there it's about a 45 minute drive um i didn't get too much before footage of her getting in the trailer or any of that maybe a small video of me catching her but yeah it was an all hands on deck kind of project she does not like the trailer but we got her in there actually pretty good and we just let her loose in there. Yeah, I, I do usually tie her up, but she hasn't been trailered in a really, really long time. And she was like getting all hung up in the, in the rope. And I didn't want that. I wanted it to be a nice relaxing experience for her. And honestly, I'm pretty sure it doesn't hurt because we did it with foals. So yeah, I am just, words cannot, describe I don't know if you can see this but I am so red I am just I'm so excited and I'm super excited while I'm there I'll be able to work with her more and yes she is at my house but during the winter we don't have an indoor arena uh, heated barn and stuff like that so there's a lot of cool stuff I can get out of having her here and I can still work with her I still see her all the time I'm at the barn almost every day so I'm honestly at the barn more than I am at home half the time. So I'm super excited. I just feel like I get to see her more and the pasture that she's gonna be in is gonna be right by the barn. She was actually boarded at this place a few years ago. Her and Sloan both were, but yeah. So it's not gonna be too new for her because she did live here before, but it's gonna be new for me because there's gonna be a baby involved and I'm just super super excited like I am blessed to have this opportunity like I don't know I can't tell you guys how excited I am and I will keep you updated on the process because it is a lot easier for me to record the process of that than to have somebody else come in and record my writing yeah so I will be uploading hopefully more more frequently and I feel like this video is very unstable but it's okay it's okay we're not here for the stability of the video we're here for the ponies okay I will catch up with you guys when we get back to the barn Woo!
They're gonna watch me. Oh, since she is untied, I'm actually gonna climb in through the window and get her lead rope on that way. So that's awesome. Maybe I'll get a video of that for you. try. I don't know if I'm doing a good job. No, you're pretty much good. I mean, we don't want to get him too crazy. She doesn't seem very concerned about it. So, oh, he is cute. Hey, Mark. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's ready. Yeah, she doesn't seem concerned at all. Alright, we'll just go away from him now. Sorry, buddy. I did not see those things when I first came in here. <laughs> Where'd they go? Over on the left. Oh. <laughs> Clips! Where are you going? Like, I'm okay with these llama things, but what? Those! <laughs> yeah, right? Like the cow? Cool. Llama? Cool. Ostrich? No. <laughs> It's way over there, Eclipse. You don't got to worry about it. So, Eclipse has been dropped off and we're on our way home. Um, I didn't video too much because we were kind of just doing what we were doing and talking and stuff. So, obviously I didn't 
take too many videos, but I still wanted to, you to see somewhat of what was going on. I'm so happy. I like let her up to the stud. I've never done that before, but I've seen it happen. So I'm like feeling pretty good because that's my pony and I just did that. But the first full isn't actually going to be my full. So they're going to breed her and she's gonna stay there, that's gonna be their baby, and then they're gonna rebreed her, and then the second one is gonna be my foal, which honestly, I am okay with, because now I can kind of see like how it's done and the process of everything before it's my foal, because I haven't, we haven't had one in probably over 14 years around, so it has been a long time. So this is very, very exciting for me. I got some pictures of the cute stud, I'll put it in here. I forget his name. Oh my goodness, I forget his name. Gizmo. I thought it was Gadget. Gizmo is his name. He is so cute and honestly, he's a little friendly guy. Yeah, so right now, they're just gonna be walking her up there like once a day and kind of just trying to get her in heat because she's not in heat right now. She just got there, but we introduced them and everything, so that was fun. And then, <laughs> We put her in the field with a cow and llamas. And then she was good. She just like walked around. She was eating hay. Everything was awesome. And then she saw ostriches like a couple fields down and that freaked her out. She does not like the ostriches. But the cow and the llamas, she's good with those. So that was awesome. And yeah, I'm gonna go back tomorrow. I'm gonna just see how she's doing and probably do a little bit of groundwork ground work with her as well just so she's a little bit easier to handle for them and me as well just for everyone just for everybody's benefit yeah so it's probably gonna be a fairly short video I just thought I would let you guys know and obviously we don't know if she's caught or not she hasn't been bred this is just like a plan that we have in place and fingers crossed it goes well but if she catches obviously there will be an update and that will be so exciting so yeah thank you for watching my video and I really hope you enjoyed because this was a super super exciting big moment oh actually I do have one more thing to say so if she catches they will have they'll have an August baby and then they'll rebreed her and then it will be a July baby and I'm a July baby so that is awesome yeah, that is pretty much all that I have for you guys today, but I can't wait to catch up with you. Okay, like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more. That sounded really funny. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye.